Why are you up? Because I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the world class. Hi, Novo. What's going on, Lexi? That is oh, such a cool intro. Definitely, definitely. Gotta, you know, got to switch things up. I um, love it. I love the the one with Lucky. That was so cute. Definitely. Hi, well, everyone. welcome to the world class. I am Novo Miguel Mario Tuna Cabe Morris Michael Moss. I'm consecrated and appointed missionary to Morris Science Temple of America. And today, this is the fifth episode so i appreciate it thank everybody that's been watching all the lives and watching it on the replay thank you everybody that's in the chat now most importantly thank you lexi for um sharing your world with us yeah, i've learned a lot um i think you've helped a lot of people um yeah we got a good show today set up um something a little different than what we've done um make sure y'all hit the like subscribe if you're new to the channel um, definitely leave a comment in the chat and leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> Obviously, we have our lovely co-host, Lexi Maxwell, aka Sexy Lexi, looking. Um, hold up, let's just let's just let's just take some out. Let's just look at this. It's the opulence for me. It's the fireplace, the hair. Got Cheers. a little cigar. Cheers to all my people. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is what a natural submissive looks like when you come home. Hey, Amen. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I'm in, I'm in, I'm enjoying opulence. I appreciate it very much. So, um, we have a great, you. great show tonight. So you got the. I, got my on choker. I have a choker on tonight for everybody. That's what I mean. It's going to be one of them days again. You know? Um, Daddy's we... home. Daddy's home. Word on the street is that Daddy is home. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Good Vincent word. is in the building. We got Jenny Morena. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Lady Novoa. <laughs> Wow, we have Tola. Tola, you're so sweet. Thank you, sweetie pie. He says so sexy. Thank oh, you, okay. Tola. Uh, Natasha says, so ladies uh, just need to lavishly and gently gush about the world class on camera. Got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Uh, thank you, Jenny. Please subscribe to Lexi if you're new to the channel. If you haven't already done, please give us a, um, a lot of uh, things is going to be dropped on her channel in the future. <laughs> Steven is hilarious. <laughs> we, we have we, we have our local trader in terrorist zone. He says, please report the world class having her. That is very offensive, sir. <laughs> if you haven't, haven't noticed. Ay, ay, ay. Guys from Arizona. I don't know how they act. Um, got Lady Navoa. What's going on, Lady, Lady Navoa? Hi, Lady Navoa. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to actually, actually got to stop. For a second, because Lady Navoa uh, had gave a cash app, um, and you know what we do when we get cash apps over it. Three bars went out to the mall. <laughs> Appreciate you. Well, thank Appreciate you, Lady Navoa. Thank you so much. You got to stop. You got to stop, uh, uh, <laughs> sir. Isn't that hilarious, Stephen? You're so funny. Where is he? You you think he'll submit today? I bet you he will. I bet you he will. He'll do a whole lot. <laughs> don't say I don't like this guy, but y'all hit the like button anyway. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, you got Thank over you your hatred for me to be able to assist the channel. It's a uh, it's a, much appreciated, sir. Got okay. Let's talk about it. What's going on, bro? We said y'all ninjas, uh, ninja watchers, hit that like button, please, man. You Thank know. you, everyone. Y'all know I'm uh, rambunctious. I'm 
I've been Kyrie. I've been Kanye. Wow, you're letting your beard grow in, huh? The ladies are gonna love that. Oh no, it's gonna get cut next week. Um, yeah, we're gonna we gotta put a stop to this because if I don't if I don't take it out now, then it's, I'm gonna look like a um, I, like I catch my meals with my mouth a little later. So I don't <laughs> I don't, don't want to go about that. I mean, some meals I never mind. Um, <laughs> you said you two should date. I'm just saying, cute together. <laughs> oh, lady of uh, your sweetie pie. Okay, so I think we caught up. Hola, amore. I know. So is that is that Steven is really the the chat? He's the chat daddy. He's the chat daddy. Put a one in the chat if um if Stephen Day is the chat daddy. Put a two if it's dirty folks. <laughs> oh no, it's Steven all day for me. What you mean? I'm too dark skin uh, to blush, they say. Aww. What's up, ADH? What's up, Tola? Did I shot Tola? I don't think so. I don't I don't think I heard you, but we should. Ain't you on dirty folks thing? Why would you why would you press that? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So today we actually have a video we're gonna go over. Yeah, so I'm excited to do this. Yeah, today we actually have a video and um, kind of, not kind of, outlining uh, a lot of what Lexi said. See it from another point of view, so you don't think it's just Lexi or just me saying it. You see some other faces. Um, it's pretty in-depth, actually. Uh, got a, a few clips a few clips that Lexi, Lexi selected, so it's going to be fun today. You see, we in chill mode. Uh, I need to put my glasses on. Uh, yeah. Is, I need to put them on and um in complete defiance of Lady Navarre. She'd be hating on my sunglasses. Lady Navarre is like she's feeling the love or something. She's trying to make love connections out here. Oh, Jenny! Wow, I love it. I know, right? A daddy. I have a daddy or two. <laughs> That's awesome, girl. That part, right? She only had one, one Ooh, pop. Oh, Natasha. Damn, she said poppy. Wow. Mm. She mm. only, only has one poppy. That's sexy as hell. I wonder if Papi Blanco saw that, he would think it was him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, your show, man. I'm going right. to put you in it. Mm. Okay. All right. So we, so this is a video of the gentleman talking about, um, the dominant, you know, responsibilities or, you know, what it's really, this is a couple, they're a couple and they're into BDSM and they started off vanilla and now they are, uh, into BDSM and, um, so it's, a, you know, they were real life vanilla and then they went into BDSM and here they're discussing some of their experiences. So I really wanted to share it with everybody so you can hear and see um, how this works in, you know, in what I will call real life vanilla lifestyle versus like me that I go into it right off the top. Go ahead and play the film. All right. Just tell me when to stop. I'm going to turn this music off. Here. There we go breakthroughs or transformations in really going all in on this like what uh, who were you before who are you now what is fundamentally different about your dynamic by saying like yes this works for us we're doing it well it really calls out the the necessity to be your best for both yeah. of us mm -hmm. for each other and it also it has definitely for both of us identified our weak spots, our wounds, our traumas from the past, the things that hold us back. Uh, you know, just like women have been raised in our culture to be very, um, like I said, efficient, to be hard workers, to be strong, and all of those things have a lot of benefit for women and they have a lot of benefit for society um, to bring 
everyone up. They also have some unintended consequences. And the same thing happens to men in the opposite direction where, you know, I grew up in the 90s when men were supposed to be soft and be in touch with their feelings and not be overly aggressive. And, you know, we both grew up in small towns, in rural areas, in relatively traditional families, I would say. So some of that stuff missed us, but not all of it. And for me, I've had to face down, like, what does it actually mean to be man? What does mm. it mean to take responsibility? What does it mean to be in charge? What does it mean to lead? And how do I do that with this um, beautifully feminine, with all of the feminine chaos that comes with femininity? Like, how do I lead her and do it in a strong but respectful way without yeah. leaning too heavily into the overly sensitive and just what do you want so I can give it to you? Because that's how a lot of relationship dynamics are. And men have been raised to find out what women want and give it to them. And that sounds great until you're faced with the realities of it. And it doesn't tend to work that great because it feminizes or emasculates the man and it puts the, the women into the masculine role of being the decider. Yeah. And so flipping that script and getting myself into responsibility mode and into taking charge mode and decision-making mode. And I was never a person who was very good at those things. Mm. I was, I was very capable and very competent at bringing people together and they built a very successful business on caring a lot about people, but it wasn't a lot about taking charge. And there were other areas of my life that were very much um, trouble spots for me, like fitness. I was massively, massively overweight at one point in my life and for a lot of my life because I couldn't whip myself into shape to get myself to eat well and go to the gym and work out, even though I knew exactly what to do. So this relationship and this role as a dominant has made me be better and face down those things about myself that were challenges before and being an executor and being a doer and being taking the masculinity back from her so that she doesn't have to do it. And I think that's one of the biggest things that it's done for me is it's made me a better man. Mm. Wow. And I, I know that in reading some of your story, Andrew. You said you want to. Yeah, I just want to, you know, before before the host goes into the next question, isn't that like a powerful thing, Miguel? Like, damn, yeah. you know, like mm -hmm. he, he had to, I mean, obviously, I don't know, I can't imagine what it feels like for a man to have to really take stock of like his whole marriage himself, how he's running his business and how he's like playing a role that doesn't feel right for him. And, um, you know, I think they're about my age and it's true. Like the nineties, you know, when I graduated in 94, so there was a time when they were really like telling men to be more in touch with their feelings. Like when all these talk shows started coming up, you know, like right. Oprah and you know, and all those shows, Ricky Lakes and all those shows, um, you know, telling women to get their power and all this stuff and run their house. And the men were just like letting it happen. Um, and in some dynamics, it feels unnatural. Yeah. And, it, and, 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 and like I've said before, when you finally identify yourself, let's say as a dom, like he did, and they went about it based on how BDSM works. Even he, he, he said he was out of shape. You know what I mean? He was like a person who was like running a business, but being of service to his employees instead of like being, you know, the boss. And all of that completely changed even to the, to the effect that he said, like he took his masculinity back from his wife. 
That's how freaking heavy the load is on some of these women. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. out here, like really, really trying to outdo men in anything, you know? And it's like, they're, they, instead of saying, you know what, man, I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of doing it this way. Right. And doing that, they're like really like they double down and they want to prove something. Um, and it's really destructive. I think I think it's very destructive. So um, if we hi Jay, hi beautiful Jay Ali. Jay, are we in demon time tonight? Hmm. I hope so. <laughs> Um, Noble, can you play the rest of the, of the, is there a lot left or is there not? Oh, it's, it's, it's a decent amount. And then in the preface it a little bit, um, they may, they may I think he's, they're going to ask the question. So they're going to go into it. But what happens is which, which, what we're looking at with this video is, uh, this couple has already been married and then, um, the husband found or came to the conclusion of dominant and submissive and um later in the relationship much later in the relationship i think seven or eight years into it so um so as you're watching this these lives it's a wide range it's not just for people that are single it's not just for people that want to be freaky it's for married couples too you know to be able to have this type of dynamic um she's wearing her collar noble if you notice she's wearing her collar can y'all see that's hot. She has a nice collar. I, I have see one, 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 but she has. You see hers. Hers has the one with the with the circle, like a freaking hook. They they having a good time. <laughs> They're having a good time. <laughs> oh, having a good old time. <laughs> hey, sugar. Seriously, but okay. So okay. That's, um, if if you want to jump to a spot, I'm okay with that. But if you want to just let it go, um, see what the next. Cause I yeah, there's a lot of great information here. So yeah, we both can um, but definitely let me know when you want to stop because we both can okay. uh, we definitely can make a comment on it because it's it's pretty interesting. It's a lot of good stuff in here, and then there's another uh interview. Well, this is this young lady's channel. I will put her stuff. I think throughout the live into the chat. I just gotta find it again. Cause we were supposed to did this um like a week ago but i had forgot all the links stuff is on me all right <laughs> i'm sorry i got lost in a train of thought of just all that goodness i just heard washed they would be fools to resist my divine power King is love, there's a hell. Much can be accomplished. We didn't do this because we like you. We did this because... We are you. Being with the well class.